Hey everybody, it's Babette with Haggerty Dog Training. I hope you're all doing great. Today is Monday, April 6th, and I don't know about you, but I think tomorrow I will have completed my third week of quarantine. So today's video here on YouTube is going to be a replacement for uh, the usual Facebook Live video that I've been presenting since quarantine began. Uh, this is actually intended to get your dog used to walking on a loose leash. Although we're not specifically going to work on loose leash today, I want to get your dog looking to you for direction. And this is the very first step. Remember, it's a process. We start out with rudimentary skills. I'm creating this video for a friend of a friend who's, uh, I think, a 9, 10, 11 month old puppy, is driving him crazy, she's eating up the house. Um, I don't believe he's done any formal obedience training with her. So I promised him I'd get him this video on just the very first step to start with the obedience training. This is my friend Wiz. Wizzy, say hi. Wiz is my quarantine buddy. His dad is stuck in Paris until at least May 12th. So hopefully Wiz will get to see his dad soon. But in the meantime, Wiz is having a good time demonstrating for all my videos. So I'm gonna try to keep myself in the frame. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to uh, create a triangle. And you're going to walk your dog from point A to point B to point C back to point A. And you're going to start out with a 15 foot leash. Don't worry about where your dog is looking. Don't worry about anything right now. We just want them to get used to walking alongside of you or actually with you. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. And I'm hoping I'm staying in frame here. Now, ideally, you want point A, B, and C to be about 50 feet apart from one another. I don't have the space to accommodate that, but this is just an example of how it can be done. Now, I've got my 15 foot leash, I'm just dragging the leash. When Wiz isn't paying any attention to me, I'm going to go quickly as possible to point B. I'm going to stay here waiting for 30 seconds. And it doesn't matter if he's paying attention to me, he's sniffing around, whatever he's doing. I'll count to 30, and as soon as I hit 30, I'm gonna go as quickly as possible to point C. And I'll do that again. If he gets himself hung up, if he's distracted on something, that's okay. Eventually, he's going to learn to start paying attention to me and watching me. I'm not talking to him, I'm not looking at him, I'm not paying any attention to him whatsoever. Now, what I'm gonna do is I count to 30, I'm sure 30 has passed by now, and I'm gonna go back to point A. Now, if he doesn't come to me, come with me, that's okay. Now, I've left some, left some distractions out, which you really don't wanna do the first day you do this, but in subsequent days, like by day three and day four, you can. No So again, you really even should not even be talking to your dog. I count to 30, and then away I go. And again, whether he comes with me or not, he has to. He's attached to me. I'm not looking at him and I'm not giving him direction. I count to 30. And again. Now, this is not real time in the sense that I'm not actually counting to 30 each time. Just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to eliminate that part. So I'm going to do this again. I'm at point B now. And remember, when you create this triangle, you want the legs from A to B, B to C, to A again, you want them to be equal distance. I count to 30, I start going back the other way. Now I'm going to do this six laps. So I'll just finish this one lap, I count to 30, I go as quickly as I can, again, when I go again, I count to 30, and see he's coming with me, he has to. He's going to start learning to pay attention to me. And then I'll go back, after I count to 30, I'll go back to A. Now, I hope you all were able to see me there. Uh, old time killer trainers will see that this is sort of a bastardized, ver bastardized version of the killer method of dog training, which we can talk about that at another time. Um, this is for average people who just need to get started, who need to start getting some control over their dog. Um, for my friend's friend out in Missouri um, or Montana, I forget where he is. If you start working with your dog in this way, you spend 10, 15 minutes a day doing this. 
for the next week, you're gonna see a difference in your dog. Now I do have a video and I have a blog. The video's not done yet. Um, the blog, I don't think I finished writing this article either yet, is about how indirectly the obedience training helps with the problems that you specifically, Bill, are having, such as chewing. Um, that's a whole topic, that's a lengthy topic, that's a big debate, people will argue with me about it, but I truly believe that if you start working with your dog, teach him them the, teaching your dog the basic obedience skills, and this goes for anybody with any dog, you start teaching them the, the basic skills, a lot of the problems that you're having are going to disappear. Because what ends up happening, and I expand on this in my article, what ends up happening is you're challenging them mentally, you're challenging them physically, and you're challenging them emotionally. You're giving them an outlet for this energy, and you're giving them direction, and you're teaching them discipline, you're giving them physical exercise. It's not just random, I'm gonna run my, my dog five miles a day with you know a backpack on. Okay, you're giving your dog clear-cut directions. So this is just a very simple place to start. If you have a dog that's acting up, start here. Then what you can do is work on your dog with this 10, 15 minutes a day for the next week. Then look at my other videos. Go into the sit, go into the stay, go into the calm, go into the down, the place. The more skills you taught, teach your dog, the better off you're going to have, the better off you're going to be, the better trained your dog's going to be, the happier your dog's going to be. They're gonna be less likely to chew your furniture, chew your shoes, jump up on guests that come into the house. So again, just that little exercise, you know, it's not perfect, point A to point B, point C, get yourself a, lunge, a long line, and you're gonna notice over the next couple of days, your dog is paying attention to you more. They're a little bit more receptive to what you tell them to do. They're paying attention to you better, and before long, your dog is gonna be coming along, alongside of you. Now, there's a lot more detail to this that is better served, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, specific to your dogs, but I'm just throwing this up there to give everybody an opportunity to just start working with your dog. And this is point A to start. In the meantime, feel free to email us, uh, give us feedback on the video. If you have questions, you can call us at Haggerty Dog Training, 201-444-9893, 444-9893. And watch for our free videos over the next, however long this pandemic lasts. We have a ton of videos and you stick to the videos and you do everything we tell you to do, you are gonna have a better dog. Until then, have a happy, wonderful, stay safe and healthy day and happy training. Thanks guys.